Hello class and welcome to week five. Uh, it's hard to believe we are at week five already, just a few more weeks and this session will be over. Um, this week we're gonna be talking about um, some social issues and end of life care. And we're also gonna be continuing to work on our final project. So let's just get started here, click right into week five. Quick overview again, um, social support, end of life, um, family care, telemedicine, a little bit of everything wrapped up into this uh, week. And so our module learning outcomes for the week are to discuss that social support um, and the impact that it, that it plays. And then also how can the RT help cope with crisis and end of life care. Um, this is interesting. I actually just had a, one of my clinical students in my office this week um, discussing terminal extubations and uh, dealing with, with grief due to loss patients. And so uh, it, very timely um, in both aspects of online education as well as clinical education, I'm sure in your guys' role um, at your facilities, you've had to deal with that as well. Lots of stress goes along with that. And so uh, we'll also be um, discussing that briefly. And then we're, for our final project, we're going to be doing a literature search in order to um, come up with a list of references for our final project. The learning materials for this week, uh, Dupre chapter eight and nine. Um, again, uh, just a partial chapter there, not the full thing, um, but please do read that, those sections. And then uh, these references here are optional, but definitely will be useful for the discussion forum. So if you're having some problems getting prompted or getting started with your discussion forum, please look at these references here. These web links will also provide excellent information about care for end of life, social services, COPD caregiving, and telemedicine. So please do spend a, a little bit of time perusing those documents. They will be helpful for your course content this week. Our SLO, Student Learning Outcome, for this week five is our third SLO in Boise State's SLO, and it's Critical Inquiry. Uh, and that could kind of be considered critical thinking. Good example of this is to now that you've selected your final project, you have yourself a clinical question to discuss, and now you need to go and critically inquire about that clinical question. So you're going to be searching the literature uh, using PubMed, using a Google search, and the Albertsons Library will be helpful for you to find those resources. And then that information will be um, applied to week five for our written assignment. So this week's critical inquiry student learning outcome uh, fits very nicely with our weekly learning goals. An overview of this week's activities and assignments, the discussion board as always, a quiz, and then of course that final project that I've kind of been alluding to already. So in the discussion board, we're going to be talking about social support, family issues, telemedicine, um, within health communication. So these items that I've highlighted there will help get you started. And again, those prompts up above uh, will help you get started if you're having some trouble with that. And just a reminder, requirements for APA citation and references for your posts. And then of course, you've got the week five quiz to take. Again, please take that uh, before you start working on the majority of your assignments because uh, a lot of times those questions that are in the quiz will help you with your assignment. And then finally, uh, the week five written assignment. Here, as mentioned, we are going to be looking for three to four references outside of your textbook. So down here, I note that you should always be using your Dupre text and then at least five other sources should be sufficient for the length of your final project. By no means do you have to limit this to three to five sources, but make sure that you're looking up enough sources that you're gonna have enough material for your project. So this week five paper is going to be that your list of references as of right now, now you can always add more later, but as of right now, this is your list of references that you are going to use to support your final project. Remember last week we, we designed an outline of what our final project is going to look like in draft form. This week we are starting to fill that in with our references that we're going to use. And part of this assignment this week is not only to list the reference in APA format, 
but also to then discuss how you're going to use that reference within your paper. It doesn't have to be at great length, but I want you to start thinking about how you're going to use it. So as you're reviewing these articles that you're going to include, think and jot down some notes. How am I going to use this? Which section is this going to go into? That way you can explain that in your week five assignment. Uh, and then just quickly moving on to week six, next week that uh, draft of your final paper is due and you should already be starting to work on your oral video presentation at that point. And then week seven, the video presentation is due and then also the final draft of your paper. So that wraps up week five. Please do let me know if you guys have any other questions regarding week five. Remember, you can always go into the study hall discussion board forum and post a question to the rest of the class. Um, I'll check in on that as well and try to answer it. And of course, APA help and YouTube help in these two folders in the sidebar. Okay, class, you're always free to email me as well. But have a good week five, and I will see you guys in week six.